hello and <laughs> hello <laughs> hello <laughs> Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. I thought today I would just show you basically how I'm styling my hair at the minute, what products I'm using. Yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into it so you guys can see how I style my hair. So, I don't know if many of you guys have watched my vlogs um, on this channel, but basically I've had quite a problem with how to curl my hair and for literally the last enter years here, for probably about the last seven years, I have literally just used my Babyliss, yes, the red Babyliss curling tong, and it has seen me through so many years. It has been very well loved, and I love it, love it, love it, love it so much. Um, but I really, really wanted to find a new curler. Basically, what started this was I basically got gifted at an insane Boots Christmas event, a Shark Style Pro something. I want to say Pro Max, but that's to do with an iPhone. I think it's got Pro on the end of it. It's not, if it's not, it's just called the Shark Style Pro, I think. Um, and it's basically like a Dyson. I can't get on with it. I don't know anybody that can actually I do because Jess has recently managed to get on with it quite well I just can't get on with it so it's actually quite a gorgeous hair dryer for me and if I want to straighten my hair I do use that as well to straighten it because it has like different attachments but my hair simply does not it just doesn't style well with those sort of tools someone has licensed my hair before and it came out really really well but that was like a qualified hairdresser and she had the glorious products to go with it I just don't know what product would work with my hair to give it enough oomph to then get it to be how it came out that one time. And I don't want to keep like, going through all these products to try and find them, I would just rather stick with my tongue so I know what's going on, I know how it's going to come out, and it's reliable. I got the Mark Hill Pick and Mix. I got this section, the handle, sent to me in like 2020. I got the mermaid waver with it and I also got the like curled straightening section thing as well. These are on so I'm not going to be touching any of this because I'm trying to, I wanted to heat it up so it's ready for you guys. I didn't use it, it got stuck in my wardrobe for a bit because I was like well I'm not going to really use the mermaid waver, I've, I've used that bit once or twice and then the curly straightener thing, I had straighteners anyway so I was like oh, I don't really need that. So it's kind of been just sat in my wardrobe for a bit, not really doing much else and then I noticed Chloe and Jess had this attachment to their Mark Kill and I've used it a couple of times and it's absolutely stunning and it worked obviously perfectly on my hair as it as I expected it would because it's literally a tong. Uh, so yes I decided I'm gonna bite the bullet. The attachments for the Mark Kill are literally they're under £20 like I think this bit is also under £20 and then you can literally just add whichever, whichever attachment you would desire on the end of this pick and mix tool, tong, there, holder thing and it's actually just been a dream to use and also as you probably saw at the beginning obviously it looks like this to begin with but you can also twist it, moving on, let me just see which day she wants to go, like this. You twist it like this and then as well it stops you from getting our make as much because you're not holding it up this high you can kind of like rest it a bit and it's just quite nice and easy to use um so yes i rate this very very much um and that's what i'm going to be using today to curl my hair because that's how i've been styling it recently i've just been having a little curl um I'll either straighten it with the shark style, but I feel like that's literally gonna take five seconds and you'll see it and I'll be like, yeah, lovely. So I either have it like this, obviously tucked behind the ear rolls with little my little earmuffs on. Maybe the first day when I've like first washed my hair in the morning, I might just keep it straight because the curls just do not hold on the first day. So I kind of like kind of tend to keep it straight for the first day. And then the second and third, we just add, keep adding curls to it. So products I use. Let me just settle this girly down in a safe place and I'll tell you actually the products I use. I don't know if you guys are really going to be interested in the like shampoos and conditioners I use but I'll whack them up quickly. I use the Redken um, shampoo primarily for my hair because obviously I've dyed it quite a bit. Compared to like when I used to have my balayage this is actually quite high maintenance and I do have to bleach the front bits 
quite regularly to keep it obviously looking nice and fresh and still like a decent color as well i will not bleach my hair i physically i can't i that it end up going wrong i am the clumsiest girl in the entire world it would not go correctly and i'd rather pay to be fair it is like 60 70 pounds when i do go but i'd rather that than have to then go to the go to the hairdressers and pay it and it's it's my pride thing i think it's a pride thing i just couldn't do it i just couldn't props to you if you've done it yourself and it's gone out successfully absolutely props to you but i can't do it i do the back bit though because i mean you can't get brown wrong can you so i do a little bust eye on that and um yeah so i use the red gun shampoo and then i just use a normal like conditioner i've used whatever's available normally in my shower i won't lie um and then it, just for the front if i think it's looking a little bit brassy i will put the purple shampoo i'll put a round of that in before i then shampoo as well because recently actually i've noticed last year when i had my balayage and the year before and the year before i've been using like purple shampoo to try and like make the color last a bit longer i didn't realize that the purple shampoo actually isn't officially proper shampoo like it obviously it is what it says it is but it also does not actually clean your hair as it is supposed to with other shampoos because the purple shampoo is obviously primarily trying to make your hair look less brassy it's bringing out the yellow tones it's not actually cleaning your hair so i then have that as the shampoo maybe i'll then do like a full shampoo wash and then we'll have a condition of this with the purple shampoo again and then we'll go over with a normal conditioner so i do shampoo shampoo conditioner conditioner obviously purple shampoo just in the blonde bits and then well i've recently just been whacking this joyco blonde life brilliant glow brightening oil i've got an oil and i've also got a spray um i can't find that now i've obviously just tossed it on the floor somewhere in haste um it might be in my basket somewhere in there actually um but yeah i absolutely i do hands down recommend as well as the spray as well i think i use the spray more that's why there's not as much as been used in this one and then heat protection wise i absolutely love this sol Janeiro. it's like a milk they've called it the milky leave-in conditioner and it says weightlessly hydrates detangles protects protects from heat and uv i absolutely love and it smells gorgeous um i'm gonna be really sad when this eventually runs out but yeah she's stunning and i love her i also use the l'oreal um hang on i've got it here this is the one i found it the joyco blonde life brightening veil this is the one i don't know if you're going to see it says uv and thermal defense multitasker so yeah it just helps a little bit more keep that protection especially on the blonde bits because i feel especially because i'm dying those bits a lot more regularly i just want to keep the the quality of the locks i want to keep the quality looking funky and gorgeous um and then the other one i use as well is the l'oreal lv ultra hyaluronic moisture plump serum just this one i also did use the shampoo and conditioner of this and i actually rate it quite good i think it was really making my hair feel quite nice and lovely okay well i'll just chuck that on the floor lovely and then hairspray wise just i'm just going to run through all the products just so then at the end of it i can just be like da -da. well you know what products you use hairspray wise i've been using the sebastian shaper fierce one jess actually suggested i try this um because well actually we both ordered it together at the same time um and i actually really rate it i don't normally need to put a lot of hairspray in my hair though if i'm hong curling my hair i find that it doesn't take well it doesn't need as much hairspray it kind of tends to hold throughout the day anyway um, as opposed to obviously if you were to dyson then i'd probably need about 50 kilos of the thing just sat in here and it probably would still fall out to be honest let's get straight on to curling my hair because i realize i've just been talking to you non-stop about products but i just thought i'd get that bit out of the way so then i'm not just like going through the whole thing and then telling you the products like you know what products i'm using then and now we will get through to the curling section i'm gonna give it a quick brush although it shouldn't be too bad because i haven't long haven't long ago brushed it right and then we're just going to divide up my hair a bit and by dividing up i mean i'm just going to have the bottom <laughs> just going to have the bottom down so i can curl it sorry if i if i'm looking over here it's because my mirror's there so i can see what i'm doing 
then I'll just give that another little brush. And I'll just make sure everything is front so there's nothing behind me because otherwise I will end up forgetting it and I'll end up having a random little straight bit at the back. I probably will anyway, um, <laughs> despite how much I try. Spraying my Soldranero on, my little milk, my milky conditioner. And also, obviously you've got this bit that lets it just like look sort of like lean on the table and you just pull it back and then you've then got the whole tongue to play with. Um, I know there's, supposed, there's probably a particular technique of um, like curling your hair, but I just kind of like, I think it goes behind like this, doesn't it? Oh, haven't got that. Didn't have a hold of that properly. Let us stew for a bit and then let it go. There we go. Bosh, lovely job. I'll speed this up because I don't think you're really gonna need to see the entire process of me curling my hair because there's only so many techniques you need to see of me curling an entire my entire head. I just keep the sections quite small because although I get really, really impatient, I need to keep them small because otherwise they simply just don't curl as nicely as I would enjoy. Like they come out a lot softer. Whereas if you just have some smaller sections, you also are then leaving it on for less amount of time so you're doing less damage to your hair, which is obviously what you want. So instead of leaving it on for like 15 seconds or having to curl it twice because it hasn't taken two, you just do some smaller sections leave it on for less and you come out with a gorgeous curl still. I'm sorry if it's been really jarring listening to me constantly sniffing. Did you guys watch um, I'm a Celebrity this year? Because I won't lie, I didn't at all. There wasn't anybody that I was actually interested in watching. Like if Olivia Jane Atwood actually stayed in, I probably would have watched it. Like I probably would have um, kept up a bit because I didn't even start watching it. And then I think after maybe like a day or two, it was announced that she couldn't go back in. So I think she had like a medical problem and then they wouldn't let her back in for like, whatever reason I can't remember I feel like next year they need to have they just need like tiktokers to take over because if they want oh this is gonna be quite this is gonna be quite nasty but if they want to stay relevant they need to have more relevant people in like they should have like they should have celebrity status tiktokers they should like oh my god Fucking GK Barry would be hilarious. Have you seen that she did a live with um, Anton Deck on TikTok? Like she went live with Anton Deck and they were like, yeah, yeah, come on next year. And she went, yeah, all well, right, give us like 300,000 pounds. But like, I would so much rather that. Like, uh, I'm a celeb has kind of like lost its spark. I feel like after COVID, well, during COVID, it kind of lost its spark anyway, because they tried to make it like a UK version and it didn't quite hit the same. They could only do what was obviously legal. They couldn't obviously go and film in Australia because of traveling restrictions. Um, I'm really glad obviously they've gone back to Australia and I think I really love like some of the um, trials and stuff, but it'd be good if they came out with new trials. It'd be good if they just came out with new things every year rather than, not every year, but if they just spiced it up a bit and had like ch changed some trials up a bit. If you want to keep me coming back to watch ITV and watch your ads and make you money, you need to have better people in there, I'm afraid. I mean, there were some, there were so many people that could have been a better fit and that could have really brought in your audience. I know like traditional TV kind of like give the new social media, like the new media a bit of stick. Like I think when people go on like Strictly Come Dancing in previous years who are like TikTok famous or on social media rather than traditional TV and things like that people get a bit like gatekeepy about it like oh I don't know her and it's like yeah okay but also I'm a celebrity I knew nobody apart from a stupid MP do you know what I mean like there's only so many celebrities you're going to know like people you can't literally have 
a celebrity you know every single year on these things. I I'm chatting shit again, I'm going off on a tangent. But I think you know what I mean. Like, people are saying that, oh, I don't know her, so how can she be famous when she's TikTok famous? But also, you know, you have, like, rugby players on there and football players on there that I don't watch football or football rugby players, so of course I'm not going to know who they are. If you're not watching TikTok or if you're not on that side of TikTok, then of course you're not going to know who they are. Just saying, it's the same vibes. Same vibes, isn't it? Try and tell me I'm incorrect. I think that's, that is correct. Or like soaps, if you don't watch soaps but you watch I'm a celebrity, you might not know, like Hollyoak stars or EastEnders stars, Coronation Street stars. If you don't watch any of those and you don't know who they are, of course you're not gonna know who they are. So when people then go, oh, she's a celebrity because she's on TikTok. It's like, yeah, well she's probably got like four or five million followers on TikTok. That's probably more than what a girly on who's like an actor on a very popular soap is. Do you know what I mean? So they're probably, oh, I don't know. I'm not gonna keep going on about it. But anyway, I've curled my hair now. I'm trying to like see behind me if I've left any bits. That's what I, te I tend to kind of try to do that. I have a little swish in the mirror just to double check. I haven't got any completely dead straight bits. Okay, it's going to be so embarrassing if I now turn around to you and go, look, and look how beautiful my hair is. And it's going to be like, there's going to be a random straight section, so do not even mention it, all right? Do not even mention it. Future Abby, cut it out as well. That is I, this is me. This is then what the hairs are looking like. I'm then going to go in with the Sebastian, oh, going to go in with the Sebastian hairspray, just to get it to set for a bit. Lovely. <laughs> and then we just kind of tend to let her stew for a bit because I don't want to like play around with it so much and then it ends up going a bit dead. So I kind of like tend to let it let it stew and then I might just like go through it a little bit with my hair. With my hair? Yeah, my hairs. Uh, <laughs> I tend to go through it a little bit with my fingers just to kind of like make it so they don't look like ringlets. And it's kind of giving who vibes at the minute because they're kind of sticking out. But when it cools down a bit, I'll just kind of give it a little zhuzh and she'll be golden. Golden! I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope it gave you a quick little insight to how I do my hair from day to day. All the products I use, as I said, I have mentioned, but I will link them down below as well if you'd like to go and check them out. I think I'll link them if they're on Look Fantastic as well. Like I'll try and keep it onto the same website rather than being like, here it's at Boots, here it's at Superdrug, here it's at Look Fantastic, here it's at, enter any other, uh one here but yes that is my hair literally plain and simple lovely job and i hope you guys did enjoy if you did smash a like and subscribe if you're new and without further ado i'll let you get on with your days enjoy yourselves my stomach is rumbling it's time for some lunch <laughs> see you later